Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a peaceful Easter. I hope you are all alright. I hope you got to spend some time with your family, with your loved ones, even if not in person, maybe uh, maybe online on Skype or FaceTime like I did. Um, and today I have a short and sweet video for you, which is going to be a tutorial of a very fun um, project that I made for my Stargazer journals. So uh, I made these last month and I thought I'd share a process with you. And these are floating pockets uh, which means that these are pockets that are not going to be attached on the pages of my journal but can be moved around and the fun thing about them is the acetate window on the front um, so acetate is the like the plastic that you get with your packaging um, so you can recycle your packaging or you can use you can even use some um, what do you call them? Paper, um, oh, plastic page protectors for your binders. So anyway, I'm starting with two book pages and they have to be the same size. And you can see that um, I, um, I'm using my die cut machine and a circle die to cut a window in my sort of a front book page so the window is only going to be in one uh, of the book pages uh, I'm inking up the inside of the the cut window and I also folded the scrap um, the, the flap um, like you can see here I'm inking it up I tore it because the whole like idea um, I had behind these pockets is that they were supposed to look scrappy and uh, a lot of torn edges. Uh, so I'm gluing my flap and I, I, I'm doing it because it gives me more um, security to where you will going to be using the pocket but it also just looks nice with the torn edge and and with the inking so now i want to um, embellish the pockets a little bit uh, i chose book pages that are sort of star and cosmos related and that's why I'm also choosing the blue color and the star stencil but of course if you are making a journal with any other theme just just ch um, choose you know like decorations and book pages that fit your project better. Um, so I'm using Tim Holtz chipped sapphire I think it is it's it's my favorite blue color um like it's it's this deep uh, almost navy blue um beautiful color and my star stencil that I got from AliExpress now you can see I also stenciled sort of inside the window and on the top of my pocket of my like a back book page um, because these parts are going to be visible and I'm also going to decorate the back a little bit because like I said this is going to be a floating pocket but of course if you uh, want your pocket to um, to be stuck on the page if you want to stick or glue your your pocket on the page you don't have to decorate the back now um, in addition to stenciling I, I'm also doing some background stamping so I have this background like a mask stamp from AliExpress and I'm using vintage photo to just messily stamp all around I I don't bother you know just stamping the whole pattern just little bits here and there to give my project a this this nice distressed grungy look and I'm also making sure I'm stamping in the window as well because acetate is transparent so of course the back uh, of my um, window is going to be visible as well so now some more 
some more inking and I'm using I think I'm using walnut stain here not vintage photo walnut stain is this more dark more grungy uh, brown that I like to use when I want my edges to be a little bit darker now here is my acetate sheet and because I was making a lot of projects with projects with acetate for my stargazer journals I ran out of uh, of packaging to recycle so I bought a few of those plastic sheets in my local shop um, and that's what I'm using here but like I said anything will do packaging will do um, page protectors will do uh, just fine so I'm gluing it a lightly on the back as you can see because I'm going to be sewing around my window but if you um, don't want to use your sewing machine or you don't want to sew just make sure you glue it um, more securely and I think double-sided tape would work would work well here so uh, now I'm showing you my messy stitching I used a uh, navy blue thread and I just love the messy look of the stitches so I went three or four times I think around my window and now I thought the flap looked still a little bit bare for my liking so I'm choosing this beautiful sorry silk ribbon that I got from Perrin Yarns on Etsy and um, I'm just going to sew a piece of it on my flap to just give it a little bit more decoration and I just loved how the color of the of the ribbon matched the um the the chipped sapphire ink from tim holtz so so you can see my little helper he is definitely a lot interested in what's going on in, on my desk and uh yeah i'm just cutting off the threads and in a moment he will see that i used a simple zigzag stitch to stitch down the ribbon and it already looks uh, awesome. I I just love how it looks. Um, it, it just a simple ribbon like this gives so much to to the project. So now I'm gluing down the edges and leaving the top part open, of course, because this is where my pocket is going to be. And we are going to be tearing the edges all around the uh, the pocket if you don't like the torn look you can skip this uh, page you can round the corners for example uh, but I love the torn look I love the grungy look so yes uh, so I'm uh, definitely going to be tearing the edges as you will see here in the moment and then we are going to be inking the edges as well so here it is so I made sure I glued I didn't glue like the exact edge of my page, of my pages a moment ago where you could see me uh, gluing you know, the two book pages together because now it gives me room to, to actually tear the edges like this. So I'm tearing the edges, my pages are still uh, stuck together and after I'm finished, I'm still going to be sewing around them. Um, and again, if you are not planning to sew around your uh, pockets, just make sure you glue them securely um, and yeah, they don't come apart. So now using my walnut stain again to just go around the edges. And yeah, my, my puppy is just always so interested in what's going on on my desk. I often have the have her on my lap uh, when I'm crafting because that's where she likes to sleep. But she also just needs to be everywhere where something is happening. So, um, so yeah, so she's just so interested in just looking for anything that she could eat probably <laughs> so yeah okay inking the edges making sure I ink the back side too because again a floating pocket and now uh, it's almost done guys it was so simple so I'm just sewing around the edges and here you can see the finished um, 
pockets. So I chose this fun stitch uh, for the for the edges because it looks decorative. And um, yeah, so as simple as that, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some ideas of how you can use your packaging and um, how you can recycle those plastic sheets. And yes, so um hope you enjoyed uh hope you stay safe and healthy and i will see you very soon in my next video bye